Hey, welcome to Coco Lace and Giggles, where beauty is made simple. My name is Ayana. Thank you for joining me today. Go ahead and grab yourself something to drink, sit back, relax, and let's see what I have to talk about today. Okay, Kyoko Beauties, how are you today? I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm going to hop right in and just do the review on Proper Beauty and her lipsticks their lipsticks keep saying her their lipsticks and um what i think about them so i got a few colors we're going to start with finesse first um so she or the lady who created this um, product and this company um wanted to do nude shades for women of color that is her target audience. And we're gonna see just how great it is. Now I will let you all know that um, she started this during the pandemic. So this is the packaging. Order box, Miss Finesse. Cute. So I wonder if this is a. No, you have to push it down. It's not magnetic. So this is her packaging. It says Proper Beauty, and this is finesse. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try it. Okay. And I'm not gonna. Uh uh. Did I buy that for peace? I'm gonna try it, so. So, um, as far as I know, she doesn't have mattes and um, matte lipsticks. This is more like a, um, I would say like a luster. So it's not shiny. And this is finesse. That's pretty, I like that. That probably looks really right with a liner. So the next one is, believe it. I love her name, um, the names. She chose names, empowering names. Um, that I think is just pretty cool. I also did darker colors too, because I have people that Coco Beauties, you know, of course, rock the darker colors. Um, that's not usually my thing, but definitely try it out. I'm trying to step outside my comfort zone. They are really soft, so try not to push hard on them. I think I pushed a little too hard. I mean, they go on like butter, though. So. This is Believe It. And it's kind of like a, mm, it's supposed to be in a mark, kind of like a caramel. Ugh. Okay, so this one is my favorite. I've been wearing this one a while, even before the video. As soon as they came, I started wearing them. This is Closer. And this is the color. As you see, Mama has been wearing this one. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels so good on. Um. I mean, like, so this is, a lot of nudes, I think this one is probably my nude, where it just looks like it's my skin. Okay. This one is my favorite. I love this one. And my Oprah Winfrey voice. And then, 
This is Driven. And this one is darker. Now let's see. Oh, I think this one is nice too. Okay. Mmm, that's nice. This one looks good too. Okay. Driven. I know there's a reason why I chose you. That's a good nude. That's a good one. And they are not scented. I don't think I had a chance. Oh, her magic. Oh, nice. Let's see. So this is a this looks kind of reddish, but I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. So in my opinion, this is a Coco Beauty version of a moth. Where we don't look crazy, where we don't have to put on lip liner to kind of darken it if it's too bright. Excuse my hands, I got all types of this is is it eyeliner on my hands. Um yeah. But Yeah, so that is her magic. I like that. That's pretty. All right, so this is Victor's. And let's see. So this is Victress. This is kind of giving me like a autumn peach. I like that. Very fresh face. All right, la ladies and gents and Coco Beauties, everybody. So these are the these are the six colors that I tried. Other colors. And um, yeah. I love them. I think they're great. I think you guys should definitely check them out if you're looking for nude colors or you know a different company that sells nudes. Oh my god, nose. That sells nudes. Um just makeup. You could definitely um no, this is sweating. Um, you would, you can definitely um, try different companies. So, like when I think of news, first thing I think of is minted, right? Because you know that was the first company I knew. It was like, oh, we do all nude colors for people of color, um, perfect shades. So, if you're saying, hey, I want to see what else is out here, is another company for sure. And then she just came out with her shades of red. So, like. I cannot wait to try those. Um, all right. It's been good hanging with you. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I have one more that I got um, by B. Simone. B. Simone Beauty. And listen, this right here, oh, man, it is really nice. Like, I really like it. This is, what color is this? I think it's high maintenance. Yep, high maintenance, 18. And this is what the package, packaging is cute. I like this. Well, let's see. Y'all know I'm a gloss girl, so this is not a gloss. I think this is more of a lip stain. but it's fire. What I can tell you about this one is that 
it dries down pretty creamy um, and it doesn't feel weird once it's completely dry you know how some of you put on you're like oh it's a little too dry I don't it doesn't feel good it's tacky not this one um, it doesn't feel grainy on the lips. You know how some feel grainy or can give you that grainy um, texture on the lips. This doesn't do that. But it's nice. I like it. Um, so. This is B. Simone. And the color is high maintenance. <clears throat> um, she does have a lip gloss I want to try. So my next one, I'll probably be picking out a couple of lip glosses. And you know me, honey. It's probably going to be a nude. Um, maybe a berry if she has a berry. Uh, but yeah. You guys should check her out. It is B, the letter B, and Simone. S-I-M-O-N-E. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you for um, hanging with me, checking out lipsticks, seeing what's out here. Um, remember, everything that I showed you in this video is all um, owned by women, um, and they are African-American. Um, of course, um, women of color. Um, and you should definitely check them out. Um, all right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe. Um, and if you do decide to subscribe, remember to hit the all, um, button, the all bell so that you can get videos as soon as I upload. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.